Hey friends, Deep South here. I'm at St. Andrews State Park and I got a care package from my good friend Chris from Wyndham Woodcraft. And I wanted to open it up in a special place. You know, I watched General Banner's video yesterday of his own opening of mine. So I thought I'd come down to the beach and it's windy. And I hope it's not too windy. I don't know what it's going to be like filming this until after I do it and I'm already home. I tried to go down on the beach, but it's just too crowded with people. Um, this is the height of our tourist season. But there's the Gulf of Mexico behind me. It's got a pretty little sailboat on it. Uh, and it's hot, man. It's like 90 degrees. And I'm finding it kind of hard to frame this, so I hope everything is in the frame. And there's two modes on using your iPhone. If you actually see the monitor, it squares everything up. And then if you do it in a regular high, with a bet, actually better camera, then it widens it up. You know, you go from a square box to a rectangle. So I'm trying to do the best quality video I can with what I got. But here's Chris's package he sent me. <coughs> Wyndham Woodcraft. And um, he made a special note that the packing tape was his daughter's idea. And I thought she did a fantastic job. To me, it looks like those little um, sugar coin, sugar corn candies. We used to get trick or treat. But um, isn't that some pretty wrapping? And she picked it out. So Chris told her, I said, thank you. And I'm going to open this up with uh, my spotter code that, I got from, that um, I've had for a while and I used on a video not too long ago for um, Mark. And I haven't transported it back to my truck yet. And I figured if I brought it out today, then I would do that. Because what I like about this is if I ever had to cut my seat belt, that's the one I want right by my, my um, steering wheel. Only thing is, is that sharp, sharp point. And I do know they make a search and rescue um, knife like this, and so does Emerson. It's got a rounded off tip, and I'm thinking about getting one of those. Man, a knife sharp. Okay, man. It looks like I got some fire tinder in here. I don't. What is that? Straw. Probably um. Part of fire with it. Got a note in here. And once again, I'll, I'll read it. If I see anything personal in there, I'll stop. Greetings from Maine. Enclosed are a few items from my stomping ground, and thanks for being a super cool dude and a friend on YouTube. Well, I feel the same way about you, Chris. Since the thank you card I sent you for doing a VR for my 50 sub was compromised, I'd had to try again, ha ha. And he had sent me an envelope before and it had some things in it. And the postal service just really mangled it. In fact, they didn't do too good of a job on this one. As you can see right there. And it was pouring down rain and they tried to stuff it in my mailbox and it got soaking wet. But you know, that's the US post office for you. The packing material is wood wool. It's used for all kinds of things, but I have found it to be a smashing good for fire tinder. So I was right on that. I went for a hike to find some chaga to give you to some of my friends who live in the area where it doesn't grow. It's fresh like as if you had just harvested yourself. It can be ground up for tea or put into a shake. If you let it dry for a while, it can be burned as an incense or used for an ember to start a tinder bundle. My wifey, and I love the smell of the incense burner. And that's what I gotta figure out is how, how you do that. How, do you crumble it up into a powder and then light it, or do you put it in oil and light it? I'm not sure exactly. Um, if it, well, if it just burns slow, I, I'm just not really sure how to use it for an incense. I'm gonna have to look into that. Since a whole bunch of your videos have made me hungry, I enclose a bit of my favorite barbecue sauce made 
just down the street from my work. Does your wife woman like barbecue? She thrives on it. We all do. Everybody in my family loves barbecue. And people around, even in South Florida, and well, in this part of Florida, Panhandle, think they have barbecue here, but um, they're imitating stuff from Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, and then, uh, of course, up on the East Coast, North Carolina, and things like that, they have a whole different type of, of barbecue. I think most of those are mustard-based. Down here, everything's vinegar-based, or molasses, or both. Also enclosed, there's some 55-gallon drum liners in a stick project that I did earlier while I was listening to the birds chirping. Hope all is well on the panhandle. Stay cool, my good man. I'll see you on the trail, Chris. I really appreciate that note, Chris. Um, the way this all started is I'm, I'm not able to get 55-gallon drums here, um, liner drums here, drum liners here. For some reason, I can't find them at Lowe's. I can't find them at Home Depot. I can't find them at Sam's. Now, I can find the smaller ones, and but I cannot find the 55-gallon drum ones. And when I do, they're the real, really cheap ones. And um, So, anyway, Chris hooked me up. Now to try to do this in the wind. And there's my hunk of chaga. That, that is just... That, that just fascinates me. I've got to do some more research on this stuff because you know we definitely do not have it. That's just something that's not native down here. I don't know if it has something to do with the temperature or what, but I will have to look into chaga. Hick Licking Good, Maine Maple Bourbon Grilling Sauce. I hope I'm getting this stuff in frame. I can't see anything. Let's see, we don't use maple. We do use bourbon and um, uh, bourbon and molasses and things like that. Because molasses is more prevalent down here. We just don't have maple. So. Our main bourbon grilling sauce took us a long time to create. We just couldn't stop sampling our favorite ingredients. We think the weight was worth it, made with natural ingredients. The water has got molasses in it also, cider vinegar. But it is just, that's, that's one thing about the United States, this, you know, barbecue is so regional. You know, dry rubs, wet rubs, just all kinds of different kind of barbecue sauces, bases, mustard bases, vinegar bases. Yeah, man. Much heavier duty Triner Lums and um, drum liners than I can get here, and I just cannot find the 55 gallon ones. And the four mil are just impossible to get any more. The industrial grade that we used to get at work from the military, that real heavy duty four mil, impossible to get. And I think these are like three mil, but they will work like a charm. Appreciate that, Chris. I need them. I feel it. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell what it is. I've been wanting one of these for so long. Just want to make sure there's nothing else in it. Put this back up for blows. Blows. I really appreciate this note. Going in my YouTube scrapbook and my childhood. Man, that is friggin' awesome, dude. I was thinking it was a spoon. Wow. That's 
all I got to say is wow. What did you say? Just uh, you were just sitting around whittling? Yeah, right. <laughs> I took some time to do that, brother. That hole is most interesting. I'm supposing that's for a lanyard, but you're going to have to tell me if there's a purpose for it. Because at first I thought it was going to be like a sport. It kind of just fits your thumb perfect, man. Dude, that is awesome. I, I've, I've, I don't have things like this. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I've never had anything make somebody make something like that for me. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, is it birch? Let me know what it's made out of. Man, I love that. I love it. One more time. That is just so friggin' unique. All right, Chris. Love it, man. You're a great dude. I appreciate you taking the time to do that for me. If you're not subscribed to Chris's channel, and I suggest that you that you are. He has got some really neat videos and some crafts he does, and I really like the videos he does with his son also. You know, I, just, I love it when adults get out and enjoy the outdoors with their children. You know, passing it on, passing it on. And, and his son is so cool, and um, he's going to be a, a cool bush crafter. You can you can see it already. I mean, he really gets into it. And he knows the importance of a stick. <laughs> it is a beautiful day here in Florida. It's hot. It's 90 degrees. The Gulf is beautiful. I'm going to take you for a walk down the pier, and then I'm going to say goodbye. Chris, thanks again for that, if I don't remember to say it at the end of the video, but thanks a lot for the care package. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, I'm going to take you on a tour of um, the pier. This is one of my fishing spots. You see where the water changes color right there that's where all the cobia run through that's the pier that is a great place to go shark fishing um, caught 800 pound mako sharks off of there I haven't but other people have so I'm walk down the pier is one of my hangout spots. It'll be a shaky video. I haven't never done this before. We'll see how it works. One of my favorite places to come, especially in the fall when there's not as many people. And these are natural sand dunes. Sea oaks. You can't walk out there. Damages the sea oaks. To the right is Condo Canyon, where the developers have ruined our beach. There's the Gulf, toward the end of the pier.
right side, left side. That's the state park. That's the jetties out there. That's where the channel goes into St. Andrews Bay. And there's the beach. More of the Gulf. We have to pay a hundred and twenty dollars a year for a year pass here. Either that or pay eight dollars every time we come out. So we always opt for the pass. And I don't know if the colors are going to come out, but you might be able to see the emerald green. And where we are is known as the Emerald Coast because of that green colored water. It is really beautiful. And even though it's 90 degrees right now, it's not really hot out here because we have a sea breeze going on. And you can probably hear it. All right, I'm gonna cut it off just to save a little bit of time. Nice fishing cart. I got one like that myself. Cool tat. Okay, that's it. My little slice of paradise. Thunder boomers out to the east. One more shot of the accursed Condo Canyon. When I used to come down here as a kid, there was nothing over two stories out here. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> okay. I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the tour. See y'all next week. Peace. Stay strange. But most of all, stay safe. Bye.